Hey, Tupaluku, Thomas here with another episode of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, playing on the Brutal difficulty. Uh, last we left off, we completed the final artifact mission, so we are truly in the end game right now. Before we get playing, I have a few announcements I just want to make real quick. Um, first off, I want to remind everyone that there are two versions of the final mission, so if you want to see the ground version, um, I will release that if we acquire 100 subscribers before the 20th. So the 20th of April, 2023, 100 subscribers means that I will be releasing the alternate version of All In. Uh, secondly, the schedule is going to be a bit different this weekend and next weekend and the week after. Um, I'm also a huge Star Wars fan and the new Jedi Survivor game is coming out. So I figured that I would play that, and before doing that, I want to finish the uh, the previous game, the one that's already out, Jedi Fallen Order. So you'll be getting a StarCraft episode today on April the 14th, and another one on April the 15th. But Sunday the 16th will be Sunday Star Wars, where I'll be releasing Star Wars episodes on Sunday. I'll also be releasing it on Monday and Tuesday, so I won't be releasing Diablo. Uh, Warcraft 3 will still come out on the 19th and 20th, Wednesday, Thursday. The final two episodes, or the final three episodes, depending upon if we get 100 subscribers, will be released on the um, 21st through 23rd. And also on the 23rd, all the way up until the 28th, I will be releasing more Star Wars episodes. I think I'll be releasing a Warcraft 3 episode on the... Um, 26th and 27th, regardless, um, just because I want to keep up, or on the 26th, just because I want to keep up the Warcraft on Wednesdays. Uh, and then the game comes out on the 28th, so we won't be playing Heart of the Swarm two weekends from now. Uh, <laughs> so I guess this is a bit much, um, but I will be repeating parts of these information here and there. Anyway, let's get to it. So, Char. The Ash World of Char serves as the Zerg Swarm's base of operations in the Kropulu sector. Its brutal volcanic landscape is riddled with extensive hive colonies and labyrinth tunnel systems that teem with millions of malevolent Zerg. Oh yeah, and uh, of course, <coughs> maybe heard there from the cough. Uh, I'm a bit sick, <laughs> so I apologize if I sound different or if I cough. Uh, I did get the hopefully the audio to work, so it's on a separate channel, so I'll be able to mute or lower the volume of me when I do cough. So, uh, I apologize if I sound a bit different. Everything is in motion to begin the final act. The invasion of the primary Zerg hive on Char. Once we begin, there will be no turning back. Ensure that you are fully prepared, Commander. Destiny awaits. So a little blurb there to tell you that, oh, there, if there are other missions, maybe you should do, do those. Because once you go to Char, like, you're, you'll railroad it into just completing Char missions. All right. Once, Char, once the Char invasion begins, you will be unable to leave Char and complete missions on other planets. Are you sure when to go to Char right now? Just a little warning sign. I think that's kind of funny. Existed. This is it. Oceans of fire, tectonic storms, and an atmosphere that'll burn a man alive. But we've planned for all of that. You can't plan for the Zerg, General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice, clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeria, I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. 
care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience to... You ain't alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. And neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Prince Valerian, we have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? Clear the bridge. I got a battle to win. I'll see you boys on the ground. Kings Bravo, Echo, and Delta have gone dark. Repeat, Alpha right. has lost right. contact with all right. elements. Where's command? I got no support. I got Sir coming out of my... We're on fire. Repeat, we've lost all thrust and power. They're coming out of the ground. It is any station this net, we need fire support! We need it now! Ah! Damn it! I told him a frontal assault wasn't gonna work. She was playing with us the whole time. Well, brother, we're alive at least. Looks like the few battle groups that did make it to the surface are scattered all over the place. Do you think death is the worst thing that can happen to you here? Infestation. Soon all will start the swarm. She's trying to get in our heads, man. We gotta keep it together. If we're gonna pull this caper off, we need to rally as many survivors as we can. Commander, Dominion battle groups are still landing all around you, but they're in pretty bad shape and coming under heavy attack from the Zerg. All right. Let's get out there and rescue their sorry butts. We need to pull together a real fighting force. We won't have a prayer to stop and carry it. Right, here we go. The gates of hell. This is also one of those missions that actually has a super simple um you call it super simple strat if you have a specific upgrade. Commander. Tactical analysis indicates the Zerg greatly outmatch your current forces. We're gonna get upgrades. Say the word, baby. Matt, keep me updated on those drop pods mm. as they get to Char. Do I we can reach enough of them before anything the Zerg, right now. We might just have a chance of fighting our way through this. It's on. It's go time. Sure thing. First round's on me. Believe it. Sir, I'm tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close to your position any second. All right. Let's get out there and find him before the Oh, well, there they are. Go on. So honestly, being a bit proactive on the map helps me. quite a bit. Come on, join me. Raiders, Raiders. Am I going to lose a... Yeah, I lost a Marine. Unfortunate. I'm assuming command here. You men fall in with us, and we'll see to find you, General. Yes, sir. I so love the way you kindle their hope, Jim. By all means, bring them all to my doorstep. So yeah, we just need to gather a large army as the uh, Don't to mission objective here. And we'll make it out of here together. We're just gonna do that. Honestly, we could get a few more CVs, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. And a um, automated refinery. Just to get some Vespian gas. Head there, repair that, then repair this. 
We might want a, another bunker, actually, honestly. Like, maybe over here. Let's get a little extra protection. Oh, jeez. Sir, I've detected a drop pod in your vicinity. Could leave the next drop pod. Oh, it's actually over there. Upgrade complete. But yeah, no, uh, Warfield's gonna land there once we have a large army. So Astrid is just rallying forces over there, just training a mass amount of Marines. And that usually just. No. Oh, don't lose anything. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Oh, I lost that. We're just gonna roll with it. Realistically, I should like be restarting. <laughs> or not restarting, but like saving between each drop pod and then uh, like redoing it if it goes poorly. What I really want is mercenaries. They are gonna. Ooh, wow. Um, repair that. Right there as well. Keep getting upgrades. Now I believe the next drop pod's gonna be here. Yes, sir. So one of the achievements is getting all the drop pods, I believe. And another achievement is like um sending coordinates to a nearby drop pod. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. Keep losing medics. Uh, we're gonna train. I don't know, four medics. I think will be fine. And now we can get some mercs. We're just gonna park it over there. I'm not actually gonna build anything with it. I am gonna get a armory though. And honestly, I should probably be building like hive mind emulators, just like picking up ultralisks and stuff. So let's let's do that. I'm gonna build a hive mind emulator right there. And a hive mind emulator right there. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Some uh, spider mines right there. Spider mines right there. The vultures are gonna die. Let's do it. They're not gonna last long. Let's land our Vikings for now. Oh wow. You see like a Mutilus is never wrong. Let's get two more of these. And I didn't get that one white, but oh well. I'm gonna put the Mutilus here. So I'm gonna collect all my Zerg forces. Um Sir, another drop pod is coming down near your location. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Sure. Upgrade complete. Want some? Yes, sir. Sure thing. By the numbers. Uh, survive. I want that Broodlord, is the deal. So yeah, we're losing a few Marines, but it's worth it for a Broodlord. Come on. Come on. Is that out of range? Standing by. Base is under attack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Not enough energy. We are gonna lose that. That's a shame. Let's keep getting forces. We almost have the uh, the army required. Sir, another drop pod has arrived near your perimeter. I'm gonna put this here. What's that? I want the Jackson's revenge, essentially. Got no Sitting around. 
Oh, it's over there. An ultralisk. And some Vespian gas. Sounds good. It's a corruptor, so I will get one of my Vikings to, um... And honestly, we might have a hundred forces with that drop pod. Well, we have a hundred forces now. Oh shit. Did you see that Zerg force? Mayday, Mayday, this is General Warfield. My ship has taken terrible, terrible damage. Oh, it was actually fine. We got ourselves a little raven. We should mobilize everything we've got and try to break through to Warfield. I kind of wish the um, Warfield won't be alive for very much. The raven was a science vessel. My if you uh, got science vessels as your, um, you know, your choice of unit. You're sure talking a lot, Kerrigan. Maybe the fear you smell is your own. The power is just what we need. Secure this starport and bring it behind our guns. Oh, there we go. Yes, please. So this is what I mean by that the Hyman emulator is very strong in certain situations. I mean, just getting two Ultralisks. Do they not heal? Well, our I medevac is healing them, so we're all good. I might honestly want the medic to be the one to heal. Got another drop pod landing nearby. Our allies are being attacked. Our allies' base is under attack. Insufficient Vespian gas. Base is under attack. Oh, another Ultralisk could have been picked up. Oh well. Oh no, that was the force protecting the... Oh wow. Um, Our allies base that'll help a bit. Attack. We might still lose that. That's fine. Wow. Not great. So we lost a siege tank. We'll repair that. So we are getting the all the drop pods, I think is my plan. Go around. So I'm sorry, that's going to be playing a lot, but they can basically hold out indefinitely. The uh, attack waves are pretty small, so it's uh, no issue. There's actually an expansion right there. We're not going to get it, but there is one. Sir, I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the area. Damn it. We'll rescue as many as we can. But I don't think everyone's going to live through this. Um, let's get those marines in there. And now, get this. Get ourselves another missile turret. Oh, wow. The brood lords are brutal. We may not have enough time to save everyone. I can agree with gym because we kind of dilly dally. Alright, we're gonna save them. Then we're gonna head here and try to save this force. What I really need is Vespian gas. Yeah, we lost them. Oh, that's really too bad. 
Did they disappear after that? I think I don't think they do. Hmm. Maybe they do. All right. Well, we failed the save all drop pods uh, achievement. We weren't really gunning for it, but you have to be a bit quick. Um, So there are a bunch of, uh, of anti-air right insert. there. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. This oh, is yeah the Thors. Okay, we should be able to get both of these this time. Should, being the operative word here. Commander, the last of the Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Looks like we're on our own, boys. All right, oh, we're gonna have to be quick. Yeah, the two balcons would be very nice. I just need a bit more of my force to be here. All right, let's go. So we did lose a Viking. But we did acquire these forces. Come on. There we go. 190 supply. And a lot of it military because we have almost no workers. Nine. So this is a very, very strong force. And in addition to that, we have some Zerg. And the Zerg do not take supply. So actually a very, very strong army. <coughs> Get some more upgrades. Oh, We're gonna all the army hotkey. I know you're not supposed to, but we will. Yes, oh, we actually do have some, yeah, some siege breakers. I've never played a game where I've taken this base. Um, I don't know if it gets attacked or not. I mean, an extra Vespine Geyser would be nice, but I just never, I've just never taken it. So our Ultralisks are basically just tanking everything for now, which is pretty nice. We should be on the lookout for when the, uh, Get the gas with it. Um, can these go into bunkers? No, <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> that would have been cool if they could. Go ahead. Our allies' base is under attack. My goose is getting close. Upgrade complete. By the number. Imagine if the hive mind emulators were mobile. That would be so powerful. Like I'd be able to get all of them converted. All right, we're in the home stretch. Nidus worms real close. So yeah, if you have like maybe 100 marines there, or not 100, but like 80-ish marines here, you can just kind of dive bomb the different Nidus Swarms, and it's pretty easy to complete this mission. That's the speedrunning tactic. I think we did pretty good. We reached the crash site. With any luck, old Warfield's still alive and kicking. All right, so there you see, destroy all the spore cannons in the gates of Hell mission on normal difficulty. I actually think we did that, yeah. And then we did miss one of the drop pods, but that's the hard achievement. I think the anniversary achievement is like, don't train certain types of units, like don't train any Marines, don't train any medics, etc., etc. Um, 
I think specifically to stop people from doing the uh, build everything at Warfield's uh, battle cruiser. Like you have to do what I did, like kind of go through the route. Unsure though. needed some help we came as fast as we could ain't no time to be lying down on the job general you magnificent son of a bitch <laughs> you're the last man i expected to see boys i hate to interrupt but uh, the natives are getting restless Thanks for the rescue, but I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Raynor, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Pretty cool. As you can see, the uh, Blizzard team was pretty Hollywood inspired. You know, everyone having their uh, visors up all the time. You know, this is this, like this hellscape where people are dying and it's... Like literally, like lava cracks in the ground, and people are like, "Oh, we need to we need to see our see our faces." Like, <laughs> it's very Hollywood inspired, you know. People hate helmets in Hollywood because I mean, when you pay X amount of dollars for famous movie actors, you want their faces on screen as much as possible. All right, let's check out the news. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. I love the, the title of the news, just... Zerg! I mean, that's... I think that's kind of accurate in this case. Never thought I'd come back to this hellhole. So, yeah, I mean... The ash and lava hide all the blood that's been spilled here. That's true as well. All right, Tychus, what's up? Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These blasted critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in a galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tychus. But we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead, we ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. You're always an inspiration. How are you holding up, General? Ah, damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. 
Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. They ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. So... What was I going to say? <laughs> Alright, well... That kind of concludes this m mission. Uh, you can't talk with Tosh or any of the other people. You can still access the armory. You can still access the um, research console in case you had like unspent credits or unspent research. But we spend everything. Still hire some mercenaries. Um, we'll be heading off to the next mission. We'll be doing Shatter the Sky because we're doing the um, Shatter the Sky next. And then next Friday, we'll be doing... Um, belly of the beast because that is the kind of route we're actually taking so we'll be doing the air version of uh, all in once again 100 subscribers before the 20th and i'll do the ground version star wars episodes will be coming out this sunday uh, i'll repeat that next episode um, and then once we're done with wings of liberty we'll be playing a lot of star wars before we actually get to heart of the swarm uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time Take care.